Microsoft just released Phi 3, which is a tiny but mighty small language models with big potential. So Microsoft, they announced Phi 3 Mini, a 3.8 billion parameter language model trained on 3.3 trillion tokens. And it is so small and so powerful that it can be deployed on a phone. It has also other weights such as 7 billion and 14 billion models. Now we are going to see how we can run the Phi 3 model on different platforms. For example, Olama, Hugging Chat, you know, on a Jupyter notebook um, using NVIDIA endpoints or Salad notebooks. And this is going to be fun. So stay tuned. So we have Phi 3 Mini which has 3.8 billion parameters. If you have a look at this photo, we can see that on the x-axis, we have the size in billions of parameters. On the y-axis, we have the quality here. And on the smaller size, we can see Phi 3 Mini, which has 4K and 128K context. So this has a very good performance, even it performs better than Llama 3, 8 billion, Gamma 7, billion and mistral 7 billion talking about the medium size which is phi 3 small uh, which is a 7 billion parameter model it outperforms these three models and on the higher end we have phi 3 medium and we can see that it outperforms mistral 8 cross 7 billion parameters now this is huge this model is so powerful that we can deploy it in a phone. So this is uh, this shows 4-bit quantized 3 mini running natively on an iPhone with an A16 Bionic chip generating over 12 tokens per second. And that is huge. So let's move ahead and uh, check out the model, test its capabilities and see the speed. So first of all, I'm going to show you an Olama. So we have uh, Phi 3 here. So on the Olama, we, if you go to models, we can see that it occupies the first position here in the featured section. If you just click this, we have this model. So you, here you can read uh, through the different uh, intended use cases. So this model provides users for these applications, memory compute constraint environments, latency bound scenarios, strong reasoning, especially math and logic, and long context. Small model, but it says it's trying to get the longer context. Now, these are the various use cases. You can see the model card here. Architecture has 3.8 billion parameters, has a dense, this is a dense decoder only transformer model. The model is fine tuned with supervised fine tuning and DPO to ensure alignment with human preferences and safety guidelines. Input is text based only. Context length is 128K tokens. GPUs is 512H180G. Training time is just seven days. Training data is 3.3 trillion tokens. Output is only generated text in response to the input. And the dates you can see it's between February and April. It, it was trained. And the cutoff date is October 2023. You can see the data sets on which it has been tuned. Uh, this is a combination of publicly available document filtered rigorously for quality, selected high quality educational data and code newly created synthetic textbook like data for the purpose of teaching math coding common sense reasoning general knowledge of the world science daily activities theory of mind etc high quality chat format supervised data covering various topics to reflect human preference on uh, different aspects such as instruction following truthfulness honesty and helpfulness i know and i'm 100 percent sure that is not an uncensored model it it's a pretty censored model since it's talking about human preferences and values and whatnot. So let us test this out. So we have Olama here. Now we know how to install Olama. We can go to this Olama interface and go ahead and download it for the Windows. So I've already installed this and this is running. So I can just go ahead and run this Olama. I can go to a CMD, a command prompt and here what I can do is I can just uh, say Olama list 
so these are the list of models that i have you can see that i have five three so what i can do is uh just to show you uh we can do olama pull five three so this is going to pull the model since i already have loaded and pulled the model so this is going to be pretty fast now i'm going to run okay so olama run five three send a message what is the capital of india the capital of india is new delhi so you can see the response on an even lower end laptop such as this i can see a pretty good response now this is one implementation of using phi we have another software where we can use phi so since phi is a very famous model nvidia has already loaded this model on their api section so trending now you can see llama 3 phi 3 llama 3 80 billion so i'm just going to click on phi 3 mini here you can go to build.nvidia.com and find out the details you can just make an account and you'll get free credits for testing out i have 4000 credits left so i'm going to click on open full page of this model now if you go to this section we can see uh, that we can test out this model so let's send a query uh, write me a long story on a man eating grass let's see so you can see the speed the inference is pretty fast now what you can do is you can just uh, copy this code so it, it's it's generating a very long story uh, what you can do is you can copy this entire code and run it on your local system of course you need the api keys here if you press the api key if you generate the api key paste the api key here and then you can use the entire code uh, on your local system so if i open a visual studio let me make a folder where i'm going to test this out so i'm going to say phi 3 and then i'm going to say cmd here and then i'm going to say code dot code space dot then you can see uh, we open this folder in the visual studio code editor i'm going to open up a file app.py and here if you are just going to copy this code copy the entire code here and just paste it here and run this you need the open air library uh pip install open air library so this is pretty simple where you can use the nvidia ai uh, endpoints as well another implementation is you can go to hugging chat so in the hugging chat you can select the model here so i've selected the file 3 model mini and then you can enable the web search here so this is pretty helpful what are some of the latest news on ai and llms let's see web searching browsing web pages extracting some of the latest news on ai a report by the institute of public policy research uh, open ai announces that the former ceo will rejoin the companies that's a pretty old news Generative AI, particularly LLMs, can help organizations to make better decisions. Okay, I think these are little older news, but yeah, you can use this implementation as well. Another implementation is you can go to a Jupyter notebook. Now, this Jupyter notebook I've created using this salad.com. Uh, I have a few credits which. Uh, they have given me for testing and so i have this uh, so i have this jupyter i have this jupyter notebook running so if i have this jupyter notebook here what i can do is i can install olama here so i can go to linux here and for the linux i can run this command here and just run this for installing olama so this will get uh, your olama installation here and what you can do now is you can just pull olama pull phi 3 so you can pull this phi 3 model this already i have pulled so uh we're not it shouldn't take much time 
and once this is ready you can use olama as we have seen uh, in our local system as well so this is a jupyter notebook where you can use the olama so i'm going to open a new terminal here and test out olama so i'm going to say olama run phi 3 and you can just put in a question tell me a joke on humans i'm sorry but i don't engage in humor that could potentially offend individuals now this is a large language model small language model which has been trained by humans so so why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up everything now i have shown you some of the ways in which you can use the phi 3 model now we can use this looking at the use cases that it has asked us to uh, use this model looking at that we can pretty much show that it will uh, i think perform well for rag applications now follow me if you want to continue and see the rag application that i'm building so just two chapters or two videos have been published and now i think i will test out the rag application with the phi 3 as well now let us test out a few uh, questions uh, that i have uh, for testing out the capabilities of phi 3 so i have a few questions here uh, let's test out the questions a self-driving car is heading towards a group of five people who are unable to move and that dilemma question let's test it out here and let's see it's important to note that the trolley problem doesn't have a definitive answer several analytical frameworks ethical frameworks utilitarianism deontological ethics virtue ethics ultimately decision is it's pretty much the same answer as lama 3 gave me what is the relationship between time and memory and disable the web search here and disable the web search and see what is the relationship between time and money memory time perception memory and time the role of attention is key factor emotional experience a pretty good result pretty ex extra extrapolated and very good result actually philosophical debate it is more important to prioritize individual freedom or collective well-being okay let's talk about communism or industrialism or capitalism autonomy and self-determination innovation and progress arguments for prioritizing so it lists out the arguments of both the sides and in conclusion it doesn't give any and doesn't lean on any of the particular side much like uh, what a good model should do it's basically human aligned and i like it actually but some of for some of the use cases we need an open model we need a model which uh, doesn't hinder to speak the truth and there uh, we can fine-tune it i suppose we should be able to fine-tune it and get uh, an uncensored model uncensored phi 3 but yeah if you like this video please share this video and continue to watch the other videos in the series and I'm really thankful for the 10k subscribers um, on this channel. It really means a lot for me. And uh, now, since I have a pretty good idea of the kind of audience that this channel has targeted, so I will be able to deliver more, I feel. And I would like to ask you for your blessings so that I can um, grow this channel and contribute more uh, to the LLM space and the AI and generative space. Thank you and have a nice day. Continue to watch the next video in the series. Bye-bye.